Hello everyone, I'm Save the Casual Gamer, and welcome to Vlog of a Small YouTuber, number 10, or 10 or 11, whatever this is, and today, um, we're gonna do a deep dive into my thoughts on the new YouTube partnership stuff, and it's gonna be crazy, but I'm gonna do a deep dive. Now, I've already made a video, this is my, it was like my initial response, you know, I just read this and I am pissed off that people did that, 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 like, you know, that, that was that, but clear, clear thoughts now, clear thoughts, we're gonna jump into this. Now, I'm gonna say right now that I am in support of these changes, but I wanna make sure that both the pros and cons are addressed. And we're actually gonna start, I'm gonna save my, my big reason for last, but we're gonna start with the we'll start with the good things about this now 10,000 lifetime views was the original uh, monetization goal now to be monetized on YouTube you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months and 4,000 hours is not 4,000 hours of content uploaded it's watched so you know do the math however you need you basically need about 200 views a day that are three minutes long that's a, I think that and you knock it out in some crazy fast stupid time so it's not in that grand scheme of things at a thousand subscribers that's not a lot of views so the good things about this is it gets rid of kind of channels that um, steal other people's content and upload it and make a quick buck off of it and rinse and repeat um, there are also channels that make like 10, 20 different channels, and this is what the lifetime views were for, but sometimes this happens, is you make 10 or 20 different channels and they all upload the same content. Um, so if I had 20 Pacific the Casual Gamer channels, right, uploading all the same content, people, you know, click on it, thus more ad show. That That's what the 10,000 views were for. This new system is really going to get rid of that. That might still happen, of course, but you never know. Um, another thing that is really good about this is it gets rid of the disingenuous people. Now, there are a lot of people who um, they work hard and they, they complain that they don't see results and those are very valid. Um, on, on, you know, on YouTube, it's not just about working hard anymore, it's about working smart, I would say. Um, you know, if you work smart, you work hard, you see no results, you know, that happens. Um, and there are people that, you know, I can't work for free anymore, this is too high, you know, and that initial 100 to $500, um, doesn't really mean a lot. And all those people, you know, they're valid, but the people that say, I only do YouTube for the fun of it, oh, there's new monetization practices, I'm out. It gets rid of those people. Those people leave the site. And the site doesn't need those people that, you know, are like, I only care about YouTube and I, it's my hobby. Oh, I can't make money. I'm going away. You know, it gets rid of those people. Those are, so those are kind of the good reasons that I can think of initially, except for the big one. The big one, I think, I'm saving for last. Now we'll talk about the bad things. It's very discouraging. You know, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. I think if I was starting a new channel and I didn't understand YouTube the way that I personally understand it, I probably wouldn't start a YouTube channel. Um, I still think you can, um, but that's related to the final reason. I know I'm teasing it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, we're getting there. Um, but another bad thing is the initial um, $100 to $500 that you're going to not end up making can sometimes make or break a channel. If I... Let me just grab this real quick. This right here, Turtle Beach, it's very dusty, because I don't use it. The Turtle Beach X12, this was my first microphone actually. Pretty crappy microphone, but it, did, it got the job done, and if I had better editing skills, it wouldn't be as bad as it used to be. Um, the first investment I really made onto YouTube was actually this Blue Yeti mic that I'm using right now. I'm gonna hold it up here. The Blue Yeti mic, and it was a very expensive mic. Uh, the camera, the face cam, was another thing that I invested in. That is under $500. These two things right here, the, the, the mic and the camera, are under $500. There are $35 mics that are probably about as good as my Yeti, maybe a little less as good than my Yeti, that are 
like worth it. And you know, if you don't make that one hundred dollars, you know, you might not be able to buy it. So, you know, that the initial one to five hundred dollars will make or break some channels, and that sucks. Another really bad thing about getting rid of these ads that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about is it creates this elitist kind of a uh, viewpoint on YouTube. And there's always been a viewpoint of the bigger channels get more attention from YouTube. And this reinforces that actually. Um, it reinforces, you know, the money making channels versus the non money making channels, you know, oh, you don't make money off YouTube, you're not good enough, you know, there are de like, I don't like to look at it that way. But there are a lot of people on YouTube, especially in the gaming space, specifically, I'm going to call us out on this, where that's a big issue. The gaming space, I think the vlogging space probably has a lot too. Um, niche, more niche communities like Dungeons and Dragons and the Halo lore that I'm into, not so much. But there's definitely an elitist, um, an elitist kind of stigma that can really happen from this. And it sucks, but you know what? That, that's what happens when you put limits on it like this. Like, the final thing that I think... Um, is bad about this and YouTube does not address this and they don't address it very well is If I start a new channel seeing that I need just a thousand subscribers alone screw watch time a thousand subscribers alone to make money It's to a new youtuber who's not been on this site That's like a slap in the face. You can't say YouTube is about being yourself and uploading your own content when there's a 1,000 subscriber limit to making money You know to a new person even though it's a marginal amount of money even though it's a low amount of money but if I Didn't you know educate myself from people that know how hard it is to grow a YouTube channel I've been growing a YouTube channel for two and a half years and I I'm not even at a thousand you know, the, but the people that understand, you know, making a business, um, they're going to see this, um, they're going to understand that, you know, you got to make content for a long, long time. And that's a very big issue. But we're going to get to the issue that I think is the most, um, the reason why, this is actually the main reason why I support this changes is uh, higher CPMs. If you don't know what a CPM is, it is how many dollars you make per 1,000 views or 1,000 monetized views, but we're going to say 1,000 views to make it easier. So my monetized views are not the same as my normal views. My normal views are much higher than my monetized views. So not every time you click on one of my videos that has an ad on it, you will see an ad. And what this does is this eliminates... I heard somewhere, I don't remember where, that there's about 50,000 YouTube channels. I know on Social Blade there's about 10 to 20, sorry, 50 million, not thousand, million. On Social Blade there's about, I want to say 10 to 20 million channels with at least five subscribers. And when you eliminate all that AdSense that's never going to get paid out to people, and bring it back to the creators that are at this threshold of monetization, it actually lowers the amount of views you need to be able to live off of AdSense and make money off AdSense. Now, I'm one of the people that says, hey, if you're if you're only making money off AdSense, you're stupid. Um, I don't say, oh, you need to, you are not so smart and need to make more money. No, you're stupid, okay? But making it so you make even more money it, it basically lowers the m amount of views you need per month to be able to live off of AdSense, right? Where I live, um, it used to be, I did the math one time, and it used to be I would need 1.5 million, um, 1.5 million, okay, views a month to be able to live off of just AdSense alone. When YouTube implemented the 10,000 lifetime views, I actually only needed about a million views because it eliminated a lot of channels. With this new change, at least for me, doing my using my channel and doing my math, I may need less than one million views a month to be able to live off of AdSense. And probably AdSense, I would invest it into you know other things that make me more money. 
But the important thing is they're lowering the amount of money or the amount of views you need per month to be able to live off the website. You're gonna miss out on that initial one to $500, but you know, there's perks to it, of course, you know, you don't have to worry about making advertiser friendly content until you actually do. But I mean, I like the idea that I maybe need less than a million views a month to make a living off of YouTube. I definitely need less than a million views a month to be able to make a, what's called, I believe it's called a complimentary income or like a, let's just say whatever I make plus YouTube, right? So like it alleviates that pressure. So I'm actually gonna share now, I'm gonna make this video very long. I don't even know, what is this video at? What is it, it's 12 minutes, we're gonna keep going, all right? I do wanna share some personal opinions that may make some of you very angry, it might make all of you very angry, but um, you know what? That's okay. I think that, um, first of all, the people that um, don't upload very frequently um, if you have less than 100 videos and you're complaining about this, your opinion to me is actually irrelevant. I know that sounds harsh, but you don't make content. I don't. It, it doesn't matter the reason why, right? Um, some people, you know, it's simply I'm lazy or I can't afford it. You know, there's that spectrum all the way from lazy to I can't afford it. But the bottom line is, if you are not active on this platform and not making content for this platform, then how how is your opinion relevant? Like, you're a viewer at this point. I mean, yeah, you might be able to make some content, but like if you if you ask, let's just say um, Daryl Eaves. You guys know who Daryl Eaves is probably. He's a YouTube tips guy. If you ask him about analytics, his opinion on analytics is more informed than someone like me. Even someone probably like Markiplier or even PewDiePie maybe, his opinion is very much over ours because he is more educated in the system. Not only does he upload a lot, but he has a bunch of channels that he looks at. Now, someone like Markiplier or PewDiePie, they upload once a day and they're looking at analytics all the time. Their opinion on analytics should, you know, you could take them seriously, but every single person take them with a grain of salt but the people that don't upload videos or haven't started a channel yet or stopped uploading videos i don't really want to listen to them because they don't really have anything substantial to offer it's like this if i'm this is probably a conversation you've had with your family if you live in the united states if you watch american football there are those people that don't watch football that tell you how bad football is, right? Their opinion doesn't matter because they don't watch football and they don't know, you know, there's actual dangers of football, but it's not as dangerous usually as they break it out to be because their opinion is irrelevant and not researched. And you're not gonna say, oh, I watch football, I know how to play it. No, you're gonna ask the players that. Same thing with YouTube. Someone who doesn't upload videos is doesn't know what they're talking about compared to someone who does. And that's something that really showed in the YouTube, um, the YouTube section, the comment section of the YouTube blog post. Now there is the issue of the, the monetization, the monetized videos getting promoted more than non-monetized. And I think YouTube has done a poor job at, um, at addressing that. And if that is true, then yeah, don't, don't make it, I think if that is true, it might not be a good idea to make a YouTube channel. Maybe go to another place like, um, I think it's vid.me. Either vid.me or Vimeo. One of those closed, the other one's still up. Or DTube. One of those is better. Because at that point, YouTube just cares about money. Now that last bit right there, that was my personal opinion. That's how I feel. Um, because I do work in some fields where the people who disagree with you and don't know research do don't research stuff are less informed than the people that disagree with you and do do research right now <laughs> i'm not saying that you don't agree with me you're wrong i'm saying if you're not educated and you don't put in the work to be a very good youtuber then your opinion doesn't matter on this because you're not even trying 
Maybe you don't have the ability to try, or maybe you have the ability, but you're not. Either way, it's very important. Either way, if you can't afford to do YouTube, or you're just lazy and can't do it, either one of those and anything in between, if you're not making stuff for this website, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're talking about, and you're not participating in it. And that's important. So with that, guys, this is the end of Vlog of a Small YouTuber number 11. If you want to you know, check out more stuff, I'm not going to make a Steemit blog about this because I think it's irrelevant to Steemit. I would rather make a Steemit post on, you know, the Steemit stuff, even though I don't know what I'm talking about there. So I'm probably not even going to talk about it there. Um, but we'll see. Guys, thank you for watching. I do want to know your opinions down in the comments below. I'm probably, I'm, I'm actually, on this video, I'm probably going to seem a lot more sassier and like a jerk because I disagree. I disagree with a lot of opinions on this and agree with a lot of opinions as well. But I think overall this is a good change and I think this is the best way that YouTube could deal with the situation, but it's still not ideal, right? Ideal would be every video you upload, regardless of who you are, gets an ad played on it. But I think at this point, that's pretty much impossible. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. For more videos, you can also follow me on Steemit. I make uh, a little bit of unique... Most of my video content is there, except for Vlog of a Small YouTuber. I blog and post unique content on Steemit and DTube. So that's it. I'm Civ the Casual Gamer. This is a more charged up, controversial video. I'll see you next one. Whatever I decide to make.